Hello, jumping straight back into Elder Scrolls, specifically going back to Merkmire. And here they be dragons, unfortunately. So I've also got to avoid the dragons, which is not good because I am not a dragonborn either. So if I can't, if I kill the dragon, they don't stay dead. Only a dragon can kill another dragon permanently. At least in the Elder Scrolls. Okay. Nice. Nice. Dropping for nice stuff doesn't make much sense. Okay. to the place so this doesn't matter it doesn't really matter too much but all right go first I make mine decently sized of course the print finishes just as I start streaming Jesus Oh, they're also investigating the surges. So what killed them? Either they ran into the wrong bystander or... Cabell's tougher than he looks. I thought that was a fucking zebra. A zebra pack on him. Hey, dude. Turkey leg. Hmm, that part was very distinctive. God damn it, that w the wings freak me out. It's like thinking, shit, there's a dragon. There is in the distance, but not in there. Fighting a dragon, I believe. Never touch a Daedric monster, especially a dead one. Don't be such a nervous nature. The dead can't hurt us. Talking cat. But where do you think it came from? Hmm, it's 
stinks of cold Don't horror. touch the dead thing. They do not tell me. Like I don't know how to handle a Daedric corpse. I wonder what killed it, though. Maybe so. Hmm, what a stench. That's the stink of cold harbor, Walker. How such a fearsome and dangerous creature ended up dead beneath our favorite rocky outcropping, this one does not wish to speculate. Only an extremely powerful mage could summon such a monster. That's not a Khajiit, that's a cat. How the hell is it talking? I watched you go from location to location, just like the man with the pot on his head. What is are you one of the soldiers intent on digging up every plot of land? Or are you simply a deviant who enjoys skulking and slinking through the wilderness? Oh, do not play innocent with me, stranger. You must be working with that pale, gaunt fool with the ridiculous mustache. Why else would you be visiting the same places that he did, unless... Are you an agent of the Usurper Queen? Euraxia, the hated Imperial who conquered Rimen and falsely claimed to be its queen. Do not feign ignorance, outsider. I had just about enough of that when I talked to the man with the pot on his head. Ugh, you sound as confused as he was. Kept talking to his pet lizard bird like he expected it to answer. Uh, the last I saw, he headed east. I suppose you'll find him in that direction, and south of Riverhold. Just stop skulking around. It's not well for sure. Um, sorry, give me two seconds, I want to plug something in for my printer. We've got ruddy fangs up on the hillside. The ruddy fangs are the biggest bandit pride this side of the Scar, and probably south of the Scar, too. This bunch has been preying on refugees fleeing the dragons, as if they have... I'm not hiding, I'm waiting. Thought I might sneak into camp at an opportune moment and get back what's mine. But I've been out here for nearly a day now. I should probably just... You do that? It's a backpack. North of here. Towards Cyrodiil. It's a trade town close to the border. Pretty quiet. A handful of gold. I don't care about that. I just want my husband's things. Finally bringing my husband home. She brought him to elsewhere. Led an army here to restore order for the Empire. She just wanted a kingdom of her own. <laughs> that sucks, dude. I wanted to fight for the Empire. I'm fighting for a tyrant. Yes, I understand that empires can, tend, can naturally be tyrannical, but you know what I mean. Hey. 
Mit Kano. Uncanny. It looks just like that lovely place I dreamed of. Uh, must be why my poor fools led me here. Eventually. Mm. Ah, hello there. Good to see you again, old chum. Have you come to pay your respects too? It was the strangest thing. Important? I have no idea. I suppose it must be. I saw it in a dream after all. Or was it a vision? I get those two confused. Anyway, I felt a sort of pull and stepped through it all. And then Tharn, you say, the grumpy battle mage. How is the old boy? The surges were probably just me. My portal took a few tries before we honed in on this exact location. Now, why don't you take a look at the gravestone and see what you make of it, hmm? Well, it took a few tries to find the exact spot I saw in my dream. A number of frightfully rude lads and lasses occupied the first location I visited, demanded my surrender. Foul smelling, I'll have you know, that was my lunch. It was rotten. I lost it. And if by bantam why you mean my faithful steed, Honor, well, he's always getting into my foodstuffs. Has the appetite of a mammoth and the cunning of a fox, that one. Dispatch? Why would I do such a terrible thing? I adore those adorable pudge buckets. Alas, Scrook was standing a little... Oh, that sucks. Were the words the same for you? Sometimes written language likes to confuse me. Words change and switch places. Very annoying. Anyway, I don't have the slightest Probably idea. Probably you. The words inscribed upon it conjure up all kinds of questions, though. Who is this betrayer? Whom did he betray? Why did they bury only his head? And where did they put the rest of the book? Dragons? I have battled a dragon since... You know, I, I, I can't remember. But I'm certain I fought one or two in my day. I was a... Gallant knights, after all. Of course, I'm... Did you hear that, my trusty shovel? Dragons and mysterious graves. It's just like old time. Now you show up. Left me to deal with a dragon all by myself. I discouraged it. But not before it laid waste to most of the camp. We arrived to find the outpost being overrun by undead. Then the dragon attacked. I did what I could. I fear it. The betrayer? Hmm. There's a betrayer mentioned in the legends of Kunzari. It seems those stories continue to harm me. No matter. We can deal with that later. Right now, I want to know about Cat. Kunzari, hero of the Marithic era. Most of the legends are unbelievable, though the Khajiiti moon singers guard the secret history. Their tales led me to the halls of Colossus. But let's save this for a less dangerous time. That doesn't surprise me. Cadwell and Strange go together like hot bread and butter. I need to recover my strength. Driving off that dragon took a lot out of me. Why don't you go help Kamira while I keep watching? Damn us for arriving too late. I did not expect to find our militia under assault by a horde of undead, and then the dragon. The militia was already depleted from the fight to liberate Riverhold, but we were determined to press on toward Rimen. Between the undead and the dragon, though, we can barely hold this portion of the outpost. Retreat is not an option. Not yet. Our resistance to Euraxia's rule requires more than just soldiers. 
There are intelligence reports, safe house locations, lists of supporters. Document we cannot afford to lose. Search the ruined camp and locate the document. They are vital to our efforts to free Rimen from Euraxia's rule. And if her forces acquire them, those who help us will be exposed. Uh -huh. Recover the documents from male sacks in the camp and get them to Captain Nalado. Then they are nine contacts. Shouldn't I just burn it? Unless it was correspondence. Like, or stolen and stuff. Boom! Convenient timing. Now, I wonder if Bane Flayers are just zombies that had all their flesh gone, or if they were skeletons first. If you're so fascinated by the dead, why don't you join them? This one doesn't know you, but at least you aren't a walking corpse. This one... Bright moons! This one thought these were lost forever. You saved many lives at great risk to your own walker. You have Nalados. That was one of Euraxia, the usurper queen's pet necromancer. Right. His undead devastated our troops, so this one took pleasure. Euraxia's chief necromancer, Zumag Fum, has been with her for some time, but our intelligence suggests his followers have only recently rallied. Me to 
or hurl into them. I've spotted dragons circling in the distance from time to time, but it doesn't look like the winged monster that attacked the camp will return today. Was your hunt successful? Did you? I must join them there. The Khajiiti forces have been decimated by this attack. It will take every strategy I can devise to help Garesh Ri prevent the collapse of his militia. The appearance of so many undead, though, that concerns me. Yes, I read the reports. Zumog Foom and his necromancers working for my despicable half-sister. Such magic leaves behind the miasma of stench and decay. It leads to the mountains to the west, but I can't pinpoint an exact... Good idea. Dragons are bad enough, but undead tend to go on without end. <laughs> Better to deal with them now, before Euraxia's power becomes more than we can contain. In such a direct manner? Yes, as far as we know. It could have been coincidence, but the attack felt designed to hit us when it would do the most damage. I wanted to send Chimera with you to find the source, but I have no idea where she's gone. Find the source of this army of undead, and if you see Chimera, send her back to Riverhold. She's as reckless as she is capable, which is a dangerous combination. I'll make my way back as well. After all, Goresh Ree... In case you haven't noticed, we two don't always... Swung. Welcome to the Prowl, friend. Lovely, eh? A bloody dragon swept through here recently. Can you believe that? Burned out a decent chunk of the Prowl and ate up the animals too. Now, a flock of poachers have moved in to kill the few beasts we have left. We could really... Wait, does that mean you're in? Really? Zen's price, that's good to hear. I work on a ranch east of here, just past the ridgeline. Talk to the owner, Numaya. She'll give you all the details and get... Yeah. 
probably a quest I what went past before. I did not expect to see you in this desolate place, Walker. Did Captain Nalado send you? Or have you come to join us as we hunt the dragon that killed so many of our warriors? Then our missions coincide. We can work together to destroy the undead and slay the dragon. It will be glorious. When we finish with the hunting and the slaying, we can report our success to Lord Garesh Ri. I do not take orders from that old battle mage. Besides, the blood of Khajiiti warriors cries for vengeance. To disregard that cry, that is not a shame I can bear. No, I must do this. I must strike back and show my people that hope survives. Sounded like a French now for a second. The worthy life is full of risk, Walker. I assumed you knew that, given what you do. I will tell you a secret, though. Before my parents died, they gave me a pendant. As long as I wear it, Jode watches over me and pro To Jode, yes. But also to my family and heritage. I suppose you could call it an heirloom. It helps me in my role as agent for Lord Garesh Ri, and that is all I will say about it. Now, let us go inside and find the necromancer and the dragon. That's towers free. Mostly. With me, stay close. We will hunt these necromancers down and end this dragon. The path splits here. We will go right. Walker, you stay left. Moons guide us. Of course, I'm going on my own. You were saying? Spice display. Ah, you know, it's hoping for a little different, something different, like a spice rack, but that will do. Maybe 
those are actually there. Is that pork or pork? Four-legged pork or two-legged pork?
talk to you. What do you want? You wanted to thank you, little morsel. Your actions help set us free of our hated prey. Mulamir wants you to understand the challenge before you. Our puppet, Eurexia, commands a legion of soldiers, an army of necromancers. You and Abnathorn set us free. You released us from the halls of Colossus. Then you will die. But not before we slaughter your friends and set fire to elsewhere. Once leave elsewhere, little morsel. Tell the battle mage, if I see you again, you will die. You kill the dragon and then sew the bones in the Are you alright? In the prison and that do the job? I heard what the dragon said. Perhaps my confidence was a bit misplaced. I never jump without first knowing where my feet will land. Also, I have very sharp claws. We lost. We defeated the necromancer and shut down one of their undead foundries. We need you and Tarn, despite my dislike of the man. But what the dragon intimated about Euraxia, it called her its puppet. Yes, you must do that. I will join you after... Tunnel. Tunnel. Secret tunnel.
If we've had this conversation already, then I wanted to thank you for the useful advice. But if I haven't seen you since our talk at that mysterious gravestone, which seems much more like... Did I mention the dreams? Visions, really? They come and go without warning, like seeing through someone else's eyes. Quite disconcerting in an interesting sort of way. Anyway, my trusty shovel and I, we searched that entire grave, and it was gone. The Petraeus head, the dreams, the uh, visions, they drew me there, but someone got to it before I did. I have the strangest sensation in the pit of my tummy. It could be the cobweb porridge I had for breakfast, or something bad is about to happen. I think you're a betrayer, mate. Well, that's sort of like leaping from the cliffs of failure without a rope, or at least without tying the end off first. I can't tell you how many times I've made that mistake. Oh, Abner wants to see you. He's in the town hall with the cat general. At this point, we need to come up with a plan that takes into account Euraxians, necromancers, and dragons. I proposed a few options, but Goreshri wasn't sold on any of them. Tell me, what of Chimera and the source of life? You paint a troubling picture, my friend. Still, we need to celebrate every victory we achieve. I fear such triumphs will be few and far between. Do you have anything else to report? My half-sister likes to think that she's in charge. She won't take kindly to being called a puppet. As for leaving elsewhere, I think not. Obviously, this Mulam Nir fears us. Otherwise, the dragon wouldn't have deigned to talk to you. Fine. Every conversation I have with Cadwell makes my head throb, but one mystery at a time, if you please. Now, if only I could get my half-sister to listen to reason and see that the dragons are using her. A parley? I may not like her, but we are family. Besides, it would give the Khajiit time to regroup. You're beginning to think like a Tharn, my friend. Here, take this. I don't know if that's a compliment to me, but I refuse to accept payment for my services. A parley with Euraxia is a capital idea. I'll send word to Rimmon to expect us. I imagine my half sister will treat us as befits my station and agree to the meeting. Most Attend to any other matters if you must. I mean, she'll agree to it, but she won't treat you as well. It just so happens I already have one. It involves distracting my half sister with wit, charm, and words she barely comprehends. Oh, and you. Euraxia never could resist a pretty face. You'll pretend to be my bodyguard and personal valet. Consider it obfuscation to hide your true purpose. We don't want to give Euraxia a reason to react poorly to overtures of reconciliation. Not that I expect to reach an accord, but still. Meet me in Rimmon and we'll enter the palace together. Go on, go on. I'm capable of traveling to Rimen on my own. We'll meet up at the city gate. We're not very close, in case I haven't made that abundantly clear. Euraxia is an accomplice. About six years ago or so, while Emperor Varen was busy with his rebellion, Euraxia took advantage of the confusion to lead a column of Nibbanese mercenaries into northern elsewhere. She declared herself Queen of Rimen and its adjacent feet. Of course not. The Khajiit call her the Usurper Queen, remember? Once Varen became Emperor, he had other problems to worry about. Same with Queen Irene. As long as the Alliance wore off... You know.
I'm gonna say something wrong. Just completely lost my train of thought. Oh. A parley with the usurper queen. I doubt she'll agree to any sort of diplomatic solution, but it will buy us time to replenish our resources. Very well. She merged into an equina. This one hates the idea of talking to the usurper queen. We should be stabbing her in the neck. Still, Nalado sees the necessity, even if she doesn't like it. By marching into elsewhere with a mercenary army and slaughtering our rightful Kajiti rulers, not only did they. Damn. Feel free to inspire. God's embrace. Well, back that place is big. Think she was possessed or something. I try to be a gentle orc and help. There's a Khajiit digging through the rubble of an old Akaviri tomb just up the trail here.
hundred apologies, Walker, but the show is postponed. Oh, forgive Tahara. Her worry gets the better of her. One of my men... Oh, a vicious beast with ravening jaws and beady black eyes. The bread and Tahara bought it from Cobb. This one is hum. Of course, Tahara will answer what she can. Yes, yes, of course. It stalks on four clawed feet, standing as high at the shoulder as Tahara is at her waist. Its fur is bull. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Walker, you will never meet a more fearsome creature. To think the noble wolf bred into such a compact frame of death and horror. In the Kashiti tongue, Taagra, the word for dog, means death. Can you bell? Uh, no. Dog just means dog, but still, you know. Someone keeps Hey, it's for the for oh. oh, the follow. Sorry, the fade took a bit to refresh. Thanks, but not really interested, mate. But thanks for the offer. Oh, there's no gold. Interesting.
Okay. Uh, blacksmith. That's all right. I've got to check the deconstruction stuff. That's I expected sorrow and despair, but the situation here goes beyond even my prophetic inklings. On the surface, yes, but peace through tyranny provides false harmony. Euraxia uses fear and threats of violence to keep the Khajiit in line, making them second-class citizens in their own province. It appalls me to think Euraxia and I are related. It would be better if I showed you. Follow me and I'll demonstrate the true depths of my half-sister's villainy. Her grip on Rimmon is far tighter than it appears. All right, give me a sec. Very well. Have you ever visited a Rimmon workhouse? They treat the Khajiiti I'm workers worse than I'm troubling slaves. rumors about Ashen Scar. Undead, mainly. I guess I can mark visiting there for months. Ah, yes. The stories of hey. the It's that building over there. For most of Rimmon's Khajiit, it's the only job available to them. This, you have the workhouse serves to snare the poor and the destitute, those who fall behind on their debts. One of the first things Euraxia did after declaring herself queen uh -huh. was to institute tariffs and fines that apply only to the... The Rimin Khajiit? No. Any complaints incur fines for causing a public disturbance or some other inane ordinance. That's no fast. one wants to risk falling even further into debt. Oh, yep. Euraxia is clever. She pays the Khajiiti, and the workhouse isn't technically a prison. On the surface, it appears to be a place that helps society's <laughs> unfortunates, but under Now, let's visit the Rimmon Marketplace. Ah. Well, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Take a look around. Business seems to be thriving, but appearances can be deceiving. I've been nothing but impressed with the leather workers and elsewhere. The life of a nomad promises constant adventure and plentiful gold. Hmm. You have not wielded weapons like those of Khajiit. 
My wares will celebrate your greatest accomplishment. They're not really sure what I'm supposed to see. It may be hard to see, but the Kajiti merchants struggle to keep their stalls open while the less bestial business people rake in the profits. Right. Euraxia would have you believe it's a matter of work ethic, but we know better. Unfairly doesn't begin to cover it. Mm. Kajiti merchants must deal with high tariffs, extra inspection fees, cost. On the surface, it seems reasonable to make Kajiti pay for extra inspections to ensure their fur isn't getting into the products they sell. And while they do shed, it's just another way to discriminate against the rightful citizens of the... Past. Come along. I want to show you the improvements Euraxia made to the palace wall. I have a feeling this is going to be, um, not blah, not bizarre, but, um, I can't remember, I can't think of the word I'm thinking of, um, or blah. See the trebuchets? Right. Notice how they're aimed into the city below. Yeah, that's a bit fucked up. See how the siege weapons sit upon the walls? When it comes right down to it, you're looking at the secret of my half-sister's success. How else do you think Euraxia maintains order and keeps the elsewhere defense force at bay? She declared publicly, If Euraxia can't have Rimmon, then neither can anyone else. She'd destroy the city in a heartbeat if she thought she was in danger of losing control. <laughs> of course, absolutely not. But the lie makes her supporters feel better. Yay. The Khajiit know that even a peaceful protest could result in the destruction of Rimmon. So far, no one has dared to challenge Euraxia. When we get to the palace, let me do the talking. Okay. As the Elder Tharn, I'll demonstrate my dominance over Euraxia and oh, negotiate God. a cessation of hostilities. Well, this is going to go badly. That's the approach. Ah, here come Queen Euraxia's guests. Oh, the necromancer. Are... I don't like the looks of these meddlers. I say we feed them to I the knew dragons it's... and be done with it. I know you. I saw you through the soul shriven's eyes. You were with the fool. Who thinks himself the shining knight of Sirad? If only he knew what a. I am my own head, yes. I am the hero of Sirad and the villain of elsewhere, the champion of the third Nedic massacre and the dark knight they call. Of course not, I am the genuine article, much more real than a disembodied soul given shape in the flesh cauldrons of oblivion. But why do you presume to talk to me? Came to that conclusion by yourself, did you? Feeling. <laughs> That's what they call it. Out feeling. A ring to it, but I always preferred my more grandiose titles. Champion. Slayer. Dark Knight. When I... So you're Abner Tharn's bodyguard and valet. Not what I expected. I assume you want to follow your master like you're dragon by now, man. inner sanctum, huh? I'll allow it. I am Queen Euraxia's chief necromancer. You may call me Sumog Foom. The other grave callers answer to me. And this is my familiar and confidant. Ah, yes. The betrayer saw you when it looked through the soul shriven's eyes. The creature you know is a pale shadow of the dark night that once walked these. My actions don't concern you. I just wanted to meet Abner Tharn's lackey and determine if Queen Euraxia had anything mm. to fear. Well, that's good to know. Now, about the rest of my body, oh pestilent one. You're in. Presenting Abner Tharn. Grand Chancellor and Overlord of Nibane, Imperial Battle Mage of the Elder Council, and Patriarch of the Tharn Dynasty, and his bodyguard. 
Ah, Hapala. Your arrival, it's so unexceptional. Pretending to be a queen is. Hush, Abner, you bore me. Bodyguard, you look interesting. Come talk to me. You that was quick. Go. Good luck. My sources indicated that my son's murderer was somewhat taller. Ah, well. Now, why in the world should I even consider negotiating with the monster who murdered my de- And you killed him for that? By whose authority do you play judge, jury, and executioner? Oh, to think I once dreamed of torturing you for a dozen years, but I see now. So, my half-brother's valet bears their teeth? Careful, fool. They aren't as sharp as you think. What happens next is your own fault. I lock you in my dungeons and do the most flowery words won't sway me, son killer. But you are correct about one thing. Mulomnir and I have a special relationship. An understanding. Enough! Zumog fool. What news do you bring? The Desert Wind Adaptorium has fallen. We move against Riverhold on your word. Then the word is given. Now, half brother. Treachery? Right. How could I ever have anticipated this? Guards. <laughs> okay, I'm glad it's being sarcastic there. I think not. Oh. Okay. I didn't need to do anything. Oh, he looks exhausted. I suppose that could have gone. I prepared for Euraxia's probable betrayal. Unfortunately, my teleport spell wasn't quite able to penetrate the palace wall. We heard two things of note. First, Euraxian forces have invaded the Desert Wind Adeptorium for some insidious purpose. One thing at a time, my companion. One thing at a time. My age is finally catching up with me. Thank you so much for poking that open wound. Magic takes a toll on the body. I've been wielding powerful eventually. Quicker if you stop badgering <laughs> me about it. Hey. Of course, I accidentally go slightly long the way. Control, definitely gonna avoid him. Just gonna run another cycle again. Oh, damn it. Things that were waiting for us. All sorts of vermin wander the sewers, including Euraxian soldiers. Oh, 
Nice. The way out, finally. I can't abide another moment in this stench. Oh, right, now he's a battle major. He's saying, aren't you a necromancer? Please, from worse. Well, that's an experience I won't be adding to my. Now, now. Things actually turned out better than I expected. We know that Euraxia wants something from the Desert Wind Adaptorium, and we know she's about to launch a counter. That's not exactly true. If my power wasn't depleted, well, let's not make this. I'll go to Riverhold and warn Garish Reed. We'll make sure the city is ready for the attack. Meanwhile, Adaptorium serve the same function as monasteries in other parts of Tamriel. Right. Desert Wind and its adepts follow the order of Jean Kaj. It's west of here, on the northern lip of the... Ah, this dude. Rigert's favorite diplomatic assistant. How have you been? Rigert, as soon as Rigert returned home from successful diplomatic endeavoring, the Scald King sent him to elsewhere with gifts for the cats. Rigert is so many ways. Trying to get rid of you, man. First, a courier brought Rigert's package to Riverhold instead of Rimen. Then, as our ship was boarding, a werebear attacked and stole honey needed for my special sweet bread. Last and not... Thank you, Fred. Finest coats in all of Skyrim. A gift for Canon Reeve Juzdo to make peace between the Nords and Khajiit. Rigert would already have them if his courier wasn't completely incontinent. The package was delivered to the Tavara in Riverhold Marketplace. It's impossible to find Windhelm worthy honey in elsewhere, but this cat merchant says honey flowers from Merivale Moon sugar farms will work for baking sweetbread. Rigert hired Skyrim's best band, the Screaming Map. The Scald King charged Rigert with handling all matters. The finest. It's impossible. Rigert. Hey. Quests. I've got 20 out of 25. Music feels really I'm gonna change. Enter this holy place. Wait, I'm not a Eurexian. Sky shot the boss. Excuse me. I hope I have a side quest if there's one for this delve. I'm probably the one that I'm gonna go 
able to slow him down. It's kind of technically we wouldn't want to attack. Get this car shot. Wait, I'm gonna run past this too. Why can some of these guys breathe fire when they're not Dragonborn? It's freaking me out. Do a spell of some kind. Excuse me. Prince on my stun. It's in the boss will be in there. Oh, 
Oh, I gotta come back that way. Don't wait. until something comes out. Off again. Sorry, monkey. I can just kept the monkey. There we go. So it's hard to go. Okay, let's go back and do this thing. Invaders, this one will not allow you to enter this holy place. Hold on, hold on. I'm friendly. You do not look like one of the Usurper Queen's soldiers. Who are you, and what are you doing down here? The Speaker of the Main sent you? This one expected we were on our own, what with the dragons and the battles to the north. Zamarak came down here to seal this path, but now he thinks the Euraxians seek the Grand Adept. Desert Wind holds many Kajiti secrets, and the keeper of those secrets is the Grand Adept. If you truly want to help, follow Zamarak to the Grand Adept's chambers. Alright, prepping the next print.
top and all that. Okay. A ratty boy. Nine winds no. Get to the door. Go. Save oh. the Grand Adept. Zamara cannot hold this for long. Go. This one will find another way inside. The Grand mark. Adept revealed all before I killed her. None can deny Araxia or her champion. You are no match for my power. Necromancer's doing, even in death, I continue to serve. He called it a blessing, said it would protect me. Damn him, he claimed my soul. Please, you must help me. Release me from this curse. We came for an ancient secret, protected by the Grand Adept. She put up a good fight. I'll give her that. Zumog Foom seeks the location of the betrayer's body parts. I learned where the dismembered corpse was hidden. Now, please help me. You are wrong. The secret belongs to me. What the battle mage knew in life, she whispers to me in death. Soon, Riverhold will fall, and the betrayer will be restored. Let the fourth wind open the way. Grand Adept. No. Zamarak has failed. What has happened here? Who killed the Grand Adept? Zamarak thanks you for avenging the Grand Adept. But why did they attack this peaceful Adeptorium? Why kill a harmless old student of the desert winds? The Usurper Queen made a mistake when she had the Grand Adept killed. Whatever they came to find had an unintended consequence. It has roused the students of the Desert Winds. <laughs> Zamarak pledges the Adepts to Garashri's cause. Euraxia will fall. They were remaining neutral before. We are not many, but we are strong. The Adepts of the Desert Wind will aid the city. Zamarak will see you there. After he makes sure the Grand Adept receives the proper blessings. Doing them furniture plans.
to leave. Above, stay above, stay above. I informed Garesh Ri and Kamira about what happened in Rimen. They're mobilizing our remaining forces even as we speak. Now tell me, what did you learn at the Desert Wind Adeptorium? I often wondered who Cadwell was before he became a soul shriven. I know the tales of the betrayer, but I never equated the two. The Cadwell we know is so not that. We'll deal with Zumog Foom after we save Riverhold. Anything else to report? Well, that's a bit of welcome news. Many of the adepts have remarkable martial skills that we could surely make use of. Speaking of which, are you ready to help defend the city? For now, recover your strength and prepare yourself. Multiple Cadwells, necromancers, dragons, and <coughs> now Euraxian soldiers marching on Riverhold. This day just keeps getting better. Yes, but Garish Ree's scouts report that they're on their way. 
Our parley seems to have aroused Euraxia's anger. What remains of Elsewhere's militia has taken up positions around town, but I fear they are too few. Garish Ri has placed the defense of the city in Kamira's hands. She moves the Desert Wind Adepts, every volunteer she could muster, and what remains of the militia like pieces on a game board. Mm. Report to find Kamira outside and see what she requires. I sent Kamira out to coordinate the city's defenses while Tharn and I continue to refine our strategy. Can we hold this city? Or should we fall back? Yamira knows Riverhold and its people well. Her training has prepared her for this. She is more than capable of organizing our defenses. When Euraxia first conquered our home, she occupied the entire upper tier of Northern Elsewhere. From it won't be easy. Okay. Holy shit, that's a big dude. He's a fucking giant. Victory is never assured in battle. Holy fuck. What are they feeding him? I knew nothing good would come of Abner Tarn's efforts to make peace with the Usurper Queen. Now she turns her attention to Riverhold. We must protect the city, no matter what Euraxia throws at us. So many have answered the call. Zamarak and the Desert Wind Adepts, the people of Riverhold. Even that strange Cadwell. And now you, Five Claw. Excellent! I have things that need to be done, but not enough hands to do them, if you are willing. The outlying farms are vulnerable to attack. We need to get the farmers inside the walls. Wait, Walker. Zamarak will accompany you. This one would go with you to the Greenleaf farm. The farmers there were kind when Zamarak passed that way on his return. He would help you convince them to find him. Exile. Circumstances force Zamarak to leave the land he loves. This one never imagined returning to elsewhere. But here he is. Zamarak will help. Though he... Zamarak understands, but that may be easier said than done. The last time this one knew... The fastest way to reach the farm is through the gate in the western wall. I'm googling other people, say if other people react to things, because holy sh hit that dude is huge. Sunlight flowers fresher. Wait, I'm going the wrong direction. This is the wrong way. 
Also, just ruin that garden. Uraxians, here! We expected an attack from the east and south, but they've somehow encircled the town. Get up! Who are you to burst into our home without permission? Wait, this one recognizes the brawny adept standing behind you. What? The Euraxians are already here! They seem to be searching for something. Though so far, they have left us alone. But this one's mate and brother, Kinaro and Hirsch. They are still in the fields. You... you would do that? Thank you, Walker. Kinaro would try to hide, but my brother... Hirsch can be hot-headed. And he hates the Euraxians. This one's son plans to join the militia. Zazi would rather keep him safe, but children never appreciate the advice of their. A few small. I should be the one to search for father and uncle, not these outsiders. Hey, you'll do. <laughs> Got passion kid, but. Really didn't grow the beat, will you? John and Jude. Dark moons, what a disaster. I heard one of the soldiers mention body parts. Such gruesome work. But no one is buried in our fields. Uh, this one will say the words to guide Hirsch to the sands behind the stars. Thank you, Adept. I'll go and break the sad news to Sazi. I look more like an emu. Might as well. I don't know what species that, but it's not. Are they an ostrich? Swearing, maybe? That's it. We all grieve for her, Shminiza. This one's brother now walks the endless sands behind the stars. Zazi Saro. This one's brother would want us to stay here and defend our farm. Zazi would be a poor sister and a poorer mate. But... But... Uh, damn you, Walker. We can't even spare a moment to take care of Hersh's remains. No. The living are more important than the dead. We will go into the city. <laughs> Ah, Five Claw, good. I have another task for you. I hoped to catch you before you were done here. I need you to head west. Nalado's scouts identified a number of Euraxian supply camps set up near the mountains. These western camps support the soldiers that encircle the city. Find the camps, startle their horses, and set oh. fire to their wagons. Cool. Nalado's soldiers will grab whatever supplies they can, but your goal is to inflict mayhem and destruction. Once you scare off the horses and set fire to the wagons, that will be the signal for Nalado's soldiers to grab the supplies. And if any of the Euraxians complain, 
Zumog Fum. He wants to resurrect the betrayer from the ancient tales of Kunzari. Ever since Abner Tharn made the... Do some damage, Five Claw. Have some mayhem, is the goal. If those dungheads had proper tails, what we did to their supply camps would put a kink in them. One more small task, Five Claw, if you are willing. This one would have you help the strange one. Cadwell was adamant about helping our cause. He's been tinkering with bits and scraps, claims he's made traps to slow down. Cadwell works along the main road that heads south out of Riverhold. Make sure he doesn't blow himself to bits, yes? Now, Nalado must return to the city before the Iraxians arrive in force. The to see you again. I missed you terribly. Now, mind where you step. I had no idea I could make such delightful murder toys. You don't want to stick a toe into any of them, though. Threw my little piggy right off. I can play a lute. Magnificent sword play. My speciality can even make a delicious Daedra heart flambe. But these doodads that go kaboom just popped into my head while thinking about how to help the cat folk. Wouldn't that be remarkable? Decide you need to know something, and it just occurs to you in a flash of inspiration. Chocolate souffle. No, no, it didn't work. More likely, it's something I knew before they chopped my head off and scrambled my memories. Took it right off the old body, yes. Not that I recall details. Uh, probably better that way. Anywho. You can help me arm the last few traps along the road. Just twiddle the spring and tweak the fiddly bit. 
carefully. To armor traps, just twiddle this bit like so, and... Oh dear. Mm. I'm fine, I'm fine. I, I twiddle when I should have tweaked, just a wee bit scorched, that's all. an evil-looking orc, a, a necromancer, I, I do believe. I recognize that tree. They're on their way to Riverhold. That's not good. Not good at all. Right, it works both ways. Uh, I have enough trouble seeing through my own eyes, let alone someone else's. I hope this doesn't look... The betrayer's head. Um, I'm not sure why we're connected or why it insists on showing me the most disturbing images. I saw an orc necromancer, a dreadful chap. Rubbish and poppycock, that makes no sense. What's a... W w wait, I remember something. The betrayer. Those loon priests called me that right before they... <clears throat> well, we need to warn the cat people. The hmm. necromancer is coming. He just remembered why his head got cut off. River hold with cats so bold. I'll see you there if truth be told. Over here, five. They're definitely on their way. We must get inside and prepare to defend the town. Euraxia's forces are under more undead. Just like at the defense force outpost. Regular troops are bad enough, but shambling corpse almost. I wish we had another day. Fifteen minutes is hopefully enough. Tree spaces are all right. Speaker, we have news. Report, Kamira. The Euraxians have necromancers in their ranks. The usurper queen dare send on dead against us. Five claw, find Captain Nalido and warn her. Sing either talking to me. Five Claw, did the speaker send orders? Riverhold belongs to Queen Euraxia Cats! Grave robbing cur! Every death is just a new recruit for Euraxia's army! Well, that's fucked, he's gonna kill them. killing the same fools again and again! This one must warn me. The necromancer's spell will animate every corpse in town, but this one has an idea. Meet Zamarak at the temple, and maybe we can disrupt the spell.
This one must be at peace to memorize the inscription. They spilled blood in this sacred place. Keep the undead away, Walker. Right, what direction are they gonna come from? A throttle. Great. Goes, yes. Now, Samarak and the prayer are one. Come, let us find the blessed pillar of the spring moon. As long as the necromantic spell remains in place, the dead will keep rising. Deal with the undead while Zamarak recites the prayer. Bakri Tashim. Proceed to the summer. Deal with the undead while this one activates the pillar of the summer moon. Bokri Jashin. I already have four hours for a second. The pillar of the winter moon near Kahajab Hall. Scene. The moon pillars are activated. River Hole is sanctified. It's working. The dead are dead again. Wait. Something. Something is coming. It's the dragon. Not moons. Dragons. We can't fight dragons. This one will order the retreat. No. Riverhold belongs to the Khajiit. Kamira, consider your next words very carefully. Now I'll speak the words my people need to hear. We are Khajiit. 
We are the children of Alkosh. Come on, let me eat this thing. It's already delighted, right? Even from dragons. Prove your worth. Come on, Lord. Why is the buddy soon? Come on. Oh. Let the blister. I am your queen. Let the blister. Use the ballista and drive the dragon to the ground. Yes. I remember that shot. Um, I do know that thing's not gonna stay dead, right? Soon, Rimen and all of Anequina will once again belong to us. The reign of the Usurper Queen nears its end. On this, I give you my word as the heir of Anequina, the daughter of King Hemakar, and the true queen of Rimen. We have plans to make. War Council, with me. The speaker is correct. There's still work to do. Let's convene in Kaharjab Hall. Right, so Khmer is secretly the heir to the throne. I wonder why she's so aggressive. Wants a kingdom back. I'll give an ingredient. You helped give my people. I am the heir to the throne of Rimen. All of Anequina to be exact. But I will not officially become the queen until the name recognizes my lineage and heritage. I have not forgotten. I want to take the fight directly to the usurper queen. Ra Thank you for helping defend Riverhold from the usurper queen's forces. And killing a dragon. That was... That was amazing! <laughs> I just wish Kamira had not revealed herself in quite so open a fashion. Kamira is indeed the daughter of King Hemakar and Queen Numara. She alone survived the murder of the royal family and has served as my aide ever since. The man and I... A mistake? No. I trust her instincts. She will make a good queen for our people. 
But Kamira lets her emotions get the better of her, and she can be reckless. I worry that those tendencies could end her rule before it truly begins. Yoraxia killed most of the palace staff and quickly spread word that the royal family was dead. Kamira hid in plain sight, often working far from Rimen, and her pendant protects her. You killed a dragon. Impressive, but don't let it go to your head. It was just one, and not even that large of a specimen. Plus, of course, no one will remember your feat. They're all going to be talked. I had every faith in your ability to handle the situation. There was no need to intervene and tarnish your moment of glory. Besides, my considerable strategic... Honestly, I had no idea. Mm. Kamira's rousing words were all well and good, but it will take more than inspiring... Based on recent events, only one course of action makes sense. We must strike at Rimen and remove my half-sister from the throne before she rallies her forces. First, however, take this. Compensation for stopping the undead and killing a dragon. My half-sister continues to be an embarrassment to our family name. The time has come to deal with your half-sister. And yes, if it comes to that. Euraxia conquered Rimen without authorization. She oppressed the Khajiit, unleashed hordes of undead, and made a deal with the dragons. If we... Who said anything about a direct assault? Subterfuge is called for. I suggest a small group slip into the... Now that I have revealed my true heritage, we need to act quickly, Lord Speaker. I agree with the princess. The time has come to remove my half-sister from the throne. Queen Tarn. I have not been a princess in a very long time. I stand correct. Queen Chimera. You said you had a way to get us into the palace, Lord Speaker? I do. Time claw. Let us speak. Like most of Abnur Tharn's plans, it is both brilliant and daring. If it has any chance to succeed, however, we need a way to get a small force into the palace without being seen. Luckily, I may have an answer. The former custodian of the palace, he knew the place like the back of his paw. Remarkably, he survived Euraxia's conquest and the purge of the royal family. Find him, and he should be able to provide us with an unseen path into the palace. Aneshi. He served as Castellan for Rimen Palace under King Hamakar. You can find Aneshi southeast of here, where he now cares for a shrine to the ancient hero, Kunzari. Learn what he knows. Then meet the rest of the strike force in Rimen. I'll just try and get some um, more of the area, more of the map explored. Go! 
Well, are heading to Surindar's cradle? I hope you brought your own water skin. Or water, or rather the lack of it. Something stopped the flow from the aqueduct to Surindar's cradle. I've been hauling water for them in the meantime, but they don't know. Old stones, old gates and levers, who can say for sure? I overheard the adepts discussing the trouble. A young one, Vosby. Well, look at that. If it isn't Nayu's little hero, who'd have thought we'd meet again, in elsewhere of all places? Hmm, you wouldn't happen to be traveling to the... I'm investigating a rumor about the town's leader, Magnate Fena Darak. Word has it that she's a descendant of the Akaviri Potentate. A rather curious rumor, given that the Potentate's bloodline should have been white. It's a personal matter, pertaining to my grandfather's legacy. Painful as it is to say, my family's reputation depends on proving this room a force. You wouldn't happen to be looking for... Why don't you begin by speaking to the lady in question? The Ma Hakoshe was built after the fall of the Akaviri Potentate. It's been... Let's see now. A little over a hundred years now? Yes, right around that. The town was founded by the Akaviri refugees who fled during... The Akaviri come from the land of Akavir, a continent east of Temriel. They first invaded Tamriel in the First Era, but were ultimately convinced. Yes, the Akaviri took the fall of the Potentate as a rather obvious sign that they were no longer welcomed in Cyrodiil. Many of them fled to elsewhere. Hakoshe is... I suppose that's a matter of perspective. After all, generations of Imperial marriages have considerably thinned. Potentate Vesidouche began his political career as advisor to Emperor Riemann III. When the Emperor was assassinated, the Potentate stepped up. So goes the rumors, though nothing was ever proven. Unsurprisingly, an Akaviri on the Ruby Throne created conflict. The Potentate was eventually assassinated himself. 
The Morag Tong, of course. Who else would be so competent? Following the death of potentate Severian Chorak and his heirs, as an agent of the Morag Tong, my grandfather had the honor of executing the last remaining... <sighs> If Magnate Fenadarak truly is the descendant of the Potentate, it proves without a shadow of a doubt that my grandfather... While I would just love to give you all the torrid details of my last few writs, I'm afraid that secrecy comes... decided to come for a bit of sightseeing. After all, I heard... Perhaps. After all, the Morag... Oh, you know her. Probably up to the usual. A little wine, a little murder. Honestly, I generally find it in my best interest to not know exact details. to join you, and as she deserves to hear that I still live in my own words. Welcome to Aneshi's humble shrine, Kunzari. Here, we've remembered the tales of a hero of ancient elsewhere. Old Aneshi doesn't get many visitors, friend. Few find much comfort in the ancient tales of Kunzari during these trying times. Wait, and she recognizes your friend. She is grown now, more serious, but this one knows Princess Kamira by Jold. And she's beloved wife, Zaima, worked with the militia for a time after we avoided Uraxia's purge of the palace. Passed along information until the Uraxians caught her. They killed her in the palace courtyard. Then you need to enter the palace crypts. A forgotten passage in the crypts leads to the royal kitchens. Aneshi will write down directions to where he hid. Jod above, old Aneshi can hardly believe his eyes. Princess Kamira. It is truly me, Castellan. But I am Queen Kamira now. We will throw the usurper from my father's throne. We stayed close to the castle. Zaima, my brave and beloved wife, she passed information to the militia until the vile Euraxians got. After that, Aneshi came here to restore this ancient shrine. This one will help you as best he can, my queen. I will visit with Aneshi. Recover the master key and meet me in Raymond.
Something about the water, Silujo. If you would just. No adept can face the wastes alone, child. This one is. Here. Claw, over here. Tarn wants to speak to you. I may not have figured out Chimera's true identity, but things have been hectic since I met her. Zamorak, though, he was easier to surmise. I recognized the bearing of the King's Claw the moment I saw him. Did you find us a way into the palace? The crypts? So that means another delightful trek through the sewers. The overwhelming stench of excrement still lingers from our last visit. The siege weapons aim down into the city. We need to disable them before Euraxia realizes she's under attack or she'll destroy Rimmon just to spite us. Meet Nalado and destroy two of the installations. Just thinking out loud. A habit I acquired during my time in the archives at White Gold Tower. Zamorak once served as a royal protector. From his bearing and the way he hovers near Chimera, he had to be one of the kings. Captain Nalado's waiting for you near the siege weapons. Work with her to put them out of commission. Once we see the weapons go up... I'm counting on it. After you and Nalado destroy the first two platforms and Chimera deals with the third, Euraxia will order her troops into the streets to defend the city. That will mean fewer soldiers inside the palace. Zamorak, Cadwell, and I will make our way to the sewers and deal with any Euraxians stationed there. Can't have them raise an alarm and alert my half-sister to our true intentions. Are you insinuating that my... Oh, how biting! Was that supposed to wound my feelings? Amateur. And have you already forgotten the part you played in the halls of Colossus? The good captain waits near the palace. She went on ahead to scout the area and determine what opposition you might encounter at the siege weapon platforms. I appreciate that level of planning, especially since it's rare to see among the Khajiit. Someone needs to remain behind and organize what remains of the militia. The Speaker of the Main is best suited to... The King's Claws were an elite... Zamorak, Cadwell... Hmm... I thought you might be remarking on how spell casting... I'll get to the far bastion. Best we don't travel together. Rejoice! Alkosh has come to save us! Do you hear it? The ro Aha! More faithful heed the call! Oh! A wondrous thing! A true miracle! The Dragon King of Cats! No, Walker! A god! The first of the divine litter! Alkosh! Maybe you know him by his other names. Akatosh, Dragon God of Time, Oriel, all aspects of the first cat. 
Have faith. Hop in my cart when you're ready. You may think Khajiit only worship the moons and look to the little far for guidance, but there are many gods to whom we pray to or appease. Al Kosh is cheap. All the divines have a vital role to play. But you could say Al Kosh is, is the most important. Without him, time would not flow like a river that we mortals can sail, but sit lifeless or churn like a boiling pot. Yes. He's come to deliver us from these turbulent times, but don't take it on you. She is an attendant of the temple who receives the newcomers. Yeah, I'm calling bullshit. Five claw. Good, good. The soldier guarding the gate to the south weapons platform appears bored. This one plans to give her something to get excited about. When she... At the gate, yes. This one observed a few more soldiers on the platform, but not many. The usurper queen feels secure in Rimin. We're about to change. Watch as Namado becomes a sleek Iraxian soldier. Oh. How do they see with this thing on? The Rashi has been spotted in the market. Hurry! Finally, some action. Namado will deal with the soldier. Ugh, this one can't wait to get out of this dungy armor. The south platform is under attack! Stupid cats! Wait, I better warn my lieutenant first.
Now let's meet the others at the sewer entrance. Here come the others now. A queen should not rush into danger. It is unseemly. This one should be at her side to keep... Kamira is queen now, so this one must do as she says. There are dangers ahead, regardless of whether we stick together or not. But, yes, and it... I'll scout ahead! Tally ho! Unsheathe your claws. There is the door to the crypts. Let us see if the master keys still work. This one hasn't visited these crypts in a long, long time. The big fucking cat. Wait. This is the royal crypt, but it has been disturbed. They took his body. They desecrated the king's grave. Zamarak has no clue. This royal crypt was prepared when King Hemakar ascended to the throne and married Queen Numara. Why inter the bodies and then dig them up six years later? Dark moons. This one hopes that is not the case. To even... We need to find a way into the palace, and quickly. Eraxia not only murdered our king and queen, she desecrated their graves! She's a monster! We can reach the royal chambers through the chapel of the guiding moons and the great hall. That dude's fucking wasted.
chapel of the guiding moons is just ahead. will be delighted to hear that we have guests. Oh, look, more cats. I do adore fleeing and then roasting the nasty creatures. If you'll excuse us, we have another member of your party to deal with. <laughs> I'm of two minds. I want to watch your cadavers tear these cheeky mud crabs up. Uh, but I also want to deal with my inferior duplicate. Want to know what to do. Leave the door to Zamaras. This one will make it. More undead! Zamarak will guard the tracks. Go left while this one goes right. We will meet in the royal chambers. There. Make haste. Euraxia is in the palace courtyard with Mulamnir. Be cautious. We need to know what Euraxia and the dragon are planning before we attack. have already agreed to serve Calgrontid. You no longer interest us, Euraxia Tharn. Oh! 
I need to see the throne. Once this all began, I knew Euraxia would need to be dealt with. But sending Chimera's murdered parents against us. Death was too easy an end for my half-sister. I'm cons... Half-sister. And do I really seem like the sentimental type to you? Euraxia may be gone, but Mulamnir mentioned his leader, Calgrontid. He said the necromancers were helping them, and Euraxia said something about a moon gate to the southwest. There'd be more um, wagons locked away somewhere. Perhaps. The next queen of Anequina said there's no time to mourn the dead, but I worry what happened here could affect her judgment. Let's get to the throne room and try... Deal with the fallen later. I fear more pressing matters must concern us now. May the dark take Euraxia! She sent my own parents against us and killed the brave and honorable Nalado. But we have no time to mourn. We must determine what the dragons seek at the ancient moon gate. Do not presume to tell me how I should feel. I am the queen now, and I do not have the luxury or the time to grieve. Five claw. Those were not my. After we finish saving elsewhere from the dragons, you are still with me in this five claw. You and Abner Torn both. We ended one threat. The war is far from over. Even a queen needs to consult with such learned personages as Garish Ri and Abner Torn every now and then. Take this, this throne. For too long, a tyrant has sat upon it. But now... The man must recognize you as the heir of Anequina. But the people already cheer your name. Finally, word, this five palace words. is a labyrinth. Did I miss anything? Amira's parents would be proud of how she has stepped forward in these dark times. Moons, I am proud of her. While Kamira got... You bring news both welcome and grim. But we can neither celebrate a victory nor mourn the good captain until later, I fear. We need to determine why the dragons are willing to associate with wielders of dark magic. Would they be interested in the moon gate of Anequina? It lies in that direction. I wonder if this pertains to Euraxia's final order. A soldier mentioned it after we captured her, but she refused to elaborate. Maybe you can help Tharn find out more. Even now, Abnur Tharn searches through the documents in the royal study, seeking information concerning this final order. Despite his show of indifference, worried? No. That would imply I had any feelings toward the man whatsoever. I... Oh, quick.
Okay. Oh. I'm gonna leave it there. Watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you're watching on YouTube and want to check out the Twitch stream live, the link will be in the description below, or you can check me out at uh, twitch.tv slash wados96. Now, I won't be back on tomorrow night because I'm going and playing cards, um, but I should be back on on Saturday sometime. Yeah. Until then, I will. See you later. Bye.